How are you guys doing today? This is Josie. I thought today we'll talk about the 2.4.6 software update in machine. We'll talk about the sampling, how to slice a loop on the fly, live, whatever you want to call it, and maybe a couple of other features like loop where they put the audio preference and then the scene length and whatnot. Um, so let's get to it. My software is open on pad one. On group A, I have a two bar house loop. I'll hit the tab, uh, for, uh, the pad for you can hear it. Simple two bar loop. I've selected it, same deal. We'll go into the sampling tab. Okay, up here, record, edit, and slice. We'll hit the slice button, which is the third button up top. Okay, and now I'm going to hit the pad, and as soon as it starts to play, I'm going to hit the other, every other pad where I want a slice to go. Okay, now let's listen to them. Now you can make them tighter. As you can see on the screen, some of them are a little bit late, okay? So I'm just gonna zoom out, okay? We're going to go into the edit up here, which is button number five. We hit edit. I'm gonna hit the first pad. Don't worry about the end too much of them because once you fix the beginning of the next pad, it'll fix the end for you. We'll do that. That looks pretty tight. I could get closer to that. The cool thing about this is if you're a finger drummer, and you're wanting to learn how to do stuff, this actually tells you whether or not you're hitting late or early. So it's a good way to practice uh, visually, I guess. See, that's a little bit late. So if I were a finger drummer, I'll say I gotta speed up a little bit there. See, a little bit late. So I have slow issues. <laughs> we'll go on there, do that. Uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's have a listen. Pretty cool if you ask me. So now once we're done, by the way, if you wanted to remove any slice, you can hit that pad and remove it up here. You'll see it, it's the seventh one. Or if you want to delete all of these that you've done, you could hit delete all while you're still in the edit mode, okay? I like what I've done here because now I've separated my kid, my snare, I could, you know, now we're gonna get out of the edit mode. And then you can apply this to any group you like. Now, if you guys look back at some of my other videos, you guys can see that when you apply and you don't want this to become a pattern on it, on the software, you can change it up here and say, no pattern, okay? I don't want no pattern, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to apply it to B, group B. I select it, and now I'm gonna hit apply. It's thinking, it's done. It's still thinking of a master plan. Okay, so now let me see. I had my group muted. <laughs> so we're cool. Pretty much that's the way that it works. So there you have it, guys. It's that simple. A pretty cool update. Cut on, uh, I mean, slice your sample on the fly. Couldn't, be be couldn't get better right now. So now let's go back to uh, the software and let's take a look at it. Now they have this new loop feature up here that's part of the transport. I think it's fantastic. You can extend your loop, shorten your loop, move your loop around. And later on in another tutorial, I'll show you guys the shortcuts to use on your controller to actually change the length of that loop, which is great. Another thing that they did that was fantastic before when you had scenes, the length of your scenes went along with whatever your pattern length was. Now, it does not matter what your pattern length is, your scene will dictate what length it will be in the arrangement. Perfect example. Pattern one, if you take a look at it here, is four bars long. Right now, my scene one is not four bars long. I can make it 16 bars long, you see, and the pattern will extend. I can say, make it one bar long. I can make it any size length I want. So that's another great feature because now you can really work on your arrangement with your scenes. Great feature. Another feature, preferences, if we go on there. They added the audio preferences to the preferences. This is one of the best features thus far. Now I don't have to go to two different places to do one thing. I can change my audio interfaces here, 
my buffer size and everything else. And they are fantastic. And I love the shortcut, command, comma. That is one of the reasons why I like that update. As always, this is Josie. Please follow me on Instagram, Pretty Hybrid, prettyhybrid.club, learnaudiowordpress.com, Twitter, Josie Carr. And as always, much love and respect. One.